Stay tuned to find out how you can win a mystery box curated by your girl. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, we have a bunch of new makeup to try out. If you guys didn't see my previous video, your girl made a huge purchase on Flip App and I'm very excited to try some of these products out. The first product that I wanna try out is the Iconic London Velvet Smooth Pore Refining Primer. Isn't that bougie? I'm like in love with this. I think it is so freaking cute. She comes nice and safety sealed, which y'all already know your girl loves a good safety seal. That way I know ain't nobody been in my stuff. We don't like what people be in our stuff. I love having some kind of reassurance that nobody been in my stuff. Let's see the texture. Ooh, she must be thick. Okay, yeah, she thick, thick. Cause I gotta squeeze kind of hard to get this little bit of primer out. It doesn't really have much of a scent to it. I guess on my nose. It doesn't really have much of a scent to it, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and rub this in. I mean, it's fine. Me personally, I like a gel. That's just my stilo but i mean it feels it feels fine it's unscented which is really good because not everyone wants to smell like a bed of flowers or whatever else kind of scent that they would put into these makeup products i love that it does not have a scent which is really good all right so far so good for foundation i'm gonna go ahead and go with my tried and true okay y'all already know i'm a fancy girl and she's that girl this fancy has been lasting me for so long like i've had her for over a year and I've been doing my makeup pretty consistently. I mean, not the entire year, but like since I started filming makeup videos on my channel, I've been doing my makeup pretty consistently. You, you pay for what you get, but it lasts you a decent amount of time. So I ain't mad at it. Y'all, I have a freaking visitor on my nose and she's huge. I am absolutely mortified by that dang blasted visitor. She just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I broke down and popped her last night. I know I shouldn't have done that, but it was just like so big and just gross. And I just, I couldn't help myself like I literally could not help myself and so I popped her and she did not go away I'm gonna try and put some more of that nip fab on there or maybe even some of that um Kate Somerville that Kate Somerville product that I got in the mystery box I'm gonna try some of that on there tonight and see cuz man I'm ready for this bad boy to go away so far the primer is really good it looks good under my under my foundation I mean the foundation isn't peeling away it, it looks good it looks nice and even I think that's a good primer and obviously Fenty's good yeah. The next thing is another tried and true. Y'all already know my pink lips. She's that girl. Wait, I need to put concealer on first. Another tried and true, my She Glam. I love this concealer by She Glam. It's the perfect color for me. Brightens me up really nicely. Blends out super easily. She's that girl. She's my go-to. Now for my other tried and true, pink lips. Love this stuff. It's on sale on Ipsy if you were not able to get it the first time when it was in the bat, well, boxy charm. It wasn't in the bag. I'm tempted to buy some more just so that when I run out, I'm already re up. I'm gonna dry this down a little bit. Now let's blend this out. You see how that just brightened up my whole eye? You know, the ColourPop one is okay. It's just when I use the ColourPop one, I get a bunch of creasing like underneath my eye. So far, I've really liked this blending sponge. She works really nicely. We're nice and blended. This is really cute. Got this in my flip order and I'm super excited to give it a try. Now this comes with a blush as well as a bronzer. Get you a product that do both we're gonna start off with the bronzer side and now this is the color that i got and it is in what does it say it is in vacay vibes so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try and see if we like her i mean this color really isn't showing up too well on my skin so this might be a little too light we'll find a use for her okay makeup is very versatile so we can find a use for this now let's go ahead and try the blush Ooh, yeah that's nice that's very nice, very pigmented. And I mean, the blush was the reason why I wanted it anyways. Okay, I wanted the blush part of it anyways. So let's try to blend this and see if it gives us the effect we're looking for. That color diffused really nicely. And I'm guessing you can probably build it up to see a more vibrant color. I wonder if I blend it out with my finger, if it'll retain more of the color. Cause y'all know your girl loves to be borderline jigsaw. Oh yeah, that's pretty. If you want a more beaming blush like a girl, blend it out with your finger. If you want it to be a little bit more subtle, use your beauty sponge. Cause it's gonna soak up a little bit of that product. Both ways it blends very nicely. I like her. I might just have to get a darker color for the bronzer aspect. Because I prefer a more beam
beaming blush. I'm actually gonna go over this with another blush. And this one is by Hip Dye. I got this in one of my mystery ipsies. And this was actually the blush that taught me I love peaches. So I'm very, very excited to use this on the channel. I don't think I've featured it in a video thus far. This is by UVE. I think that's the name of the brand. You can't really see it, but it says like UVE right there. This brush is so beautiful and fluffy. I've been wanting a fluffy brush this whole entire time. I did get this on flip. So if you want to purchase the same brush, you can just go on flip. I'm going to have a flip video posted and I'm going to link everything in the description. So if you're interested in any of the products that I got off a of flip just check the description box i will have it all linked this is what she looks like super fluffy super adorable absolutely adore her oh yeah i like that she's like super freaking soft and just just luxurious feeling i've been wanting a brush like this for quite some time see all the other girlies with nice soft fluffy brushes like this and i've been so jelly i'm not jelly okay i got my own very soft very elegant and i actually think this goes well with the dibs i think they layer beautifully Beautifully. The next thing I need to do is my eyebrows. So come a little closer. We're acquainted at this point. Y'all y'all already know. I showed you my, my visitor. You know, y'all been all up in my business. So you can get a little closer. I know originally I said I don't like eye pencils. Well, eyebrow pencils like this. But I actually like the Physicians Formula one. This one's really nice. And I guess because it's not soft. You know what I mean? Like it's not like a gel. Almost like the pencil without the sharpening, you know, needing to sharpen it. It has the right consistency of like a regular eyebrow pencil pencil. Add this to my tried and trues. All right, and our brows are now visible. To celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers, I'm hosting a special giveaway exclusively for the Faybays. Fill out the entry form located in the description below and leave a comment on any of my videos between now and April 4th for your chance to win a mystery box curated by your girl. Two winners will be chosen at at random. Remember, only one submission per subscriber. Now back to the video. We're actually gonna go ahead and get into a new eyeshadow palette. I received this in that big mystery ipsy where they scammed me out of a product. Actually, no, that wasn't this one. It was in one of my little mystery ipsies, okay? They're all starting to kind of run and blend together. This is the Half Caked Your Eyes Only palette. Look at that color story, absolutely stunning. I think it'll go very beautifully with the blush and everything else that I'm using today. First, we're gonna lay down a transition shade and I'm gonna go into buffering which is like a perfect shade name. I just realized that. That is a perfect shade name for a transition. Cause you know, it buffs it out, buffs out the other colors. Now that our transition shade is down, I am going to deepen up my crease with this shade right here, which is AO Technology. And then going back into buffering, I'm just gonna buff this out. All right, now using my finger, I'm going to dip into this middle shade right here, which is two on. Oh yeah, that's pretty, man. Justin's gonna have to take me out, I look good. And I'm actually gonna use this flat brush to kind of make sure that the shadow is where I want it to be. Y'all see that color? And it went on like a freaking dream. It's just got like the most beautiful pink to gold shift. Absolutely stunning. I'm actually going to go back into AO technology just to kind of reintroduce that into the corner and the crease right there and just kind of blend that into that shimmer shade. And then without adding any product onto my brush, I'm going to just buff that out yet again. And now to add another dimension to the look, I'm going to go into digital get down and I'm actually going to sweep that underneath my eye just to add some more dimension to the look. I think that's so pretty. For my inner corner highlight i'm gonna go into set it off oh yeah that's pretty justin's definitely taking me out somewhere i don't care where we go we can go to target justin's gotta take me somewhere this is a new favorite i love this palette we're gonna put the eyes in line and because this look wait no 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 no. this is what we're gonna do first i'm actually gonna use this yc collections island liner to actually deepen up underneath my eyes okay so and just go like this 
and just deepen it up. Very subtle, but it does make a difference. All right, now we're gonna put the eyes in line. And to do this, I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath. She that girl, tried and true. Oh my God, I am jacking up this eyeliner. For some reason, I can never do this side of my eye. That looks so jacked up. That looks so bad. I don't know why I just can't draw eyeliner on this side. Like watch this side. This side is gonna turn out like literally perfect. You see that? Like, that's what I want it to look like. It's just it, this side I always jack up. So then I have to jack this side up to match this side. I don't know. I think that's the closest it's gonna get. I'm gonna just have to have to live with the fact that this side is jacked up and this side looks much better than the other side. It is what it is. We're, we're gonna just let it go. Now I'm gonna need y'all to back up. I need some social distancing and I'm gonna go in with my Milk Cosmetics setting spray. I know I told y'all to back up off me, but y'all can come a little closer again. Okay, come on in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Illuminati of mascara. This stuff is actually really nice. Very bristly, bristly. I don't know, after using that match, match, <laughs> that MAC Magic Extensions, this one doesn't seem as nice as I remember it. Like it's okay, but I guess after using the MAC Magic Extension, this one just isn't hitting as much as it was before. Oh no. I jacked myself up. Oh no, oh no, no, no. I think, I think that's as good as I'm gonna be able to get it. I'm actually gonna go in with a new product and this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. Very excited to try this out and this was in my, my flip order. And this is in the color Bounce. Oh yeah, I love this. This is the nice dark purpley color I've been looking for this whole time. This is the color I've been wanting from all these mystery boxes and mystery bags that I have not gotten. So I'm very excited to have this in my collection because look at that. Oh, the lips are in line. Okay, they all the way in line. This is the glowing lip in the color Indulge Me. When I got this one, it looked a little gross. Like, I don't know if y'all could see that. It looks a little gross. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub off the first layer. That way it's not like actually on my lip. And this is what the color looks like. It goes on very smooth and very creamily, creamily, very creamy. This is a hydrating formula. If you're looking for a really big color payoff, this might not be the girl for you. The color payoff is very weak. It's almost like a Smackers. I don't know if you guys remember that. It's like the little lip chaps that you could get and it's called Smackers. That's what it smells like and that's what it feels like. I think it's really nice. I think it turns out very nicely. Just not the color payoff that you might be hoping for. This is the final look. I am absolutely in love with the eyeshadow. I think the standout for this entire look is this palette right here. I'm be all up in this palette. I don't think there was anything here that I was like, uh. I am a little bit disappointed because I remember when I used this the first time, I really liked her. But I guess once you try something that's even better, your standards get higher. This isn't as good as I remember it, but it's still okay. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fei Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.